Annelids are also known as segmented worms. The most popular are earthworms and leeches. This group of invertebrates have segments that are formed by subdivisions that partially transect the body cavity. Annelids move around by contracting their segments. Segments are known as metamerisms. They have tiny hairs arranged in pairs on each segment. This pair of hairs is called setae, and they help annelids, such as earthworms, to get a grip on the soil. Earthworms are found worldwide in soil. They feed on living and decaying organic matter. They are hermaphrodites, which means they have both male and female reproductive organs. If an earthworm can't find a mate, it can produce offspring on its own. Earthworms can grow up to 3 meters in length, but some species may grow to only 36 centimeters. They have five aortic arches which pump blood to different parts of the earthworm's body. The arch functions similar to a heart in humans. Earthworms are very beneficial to the soil. As they burrow through the soil, they create air pockets, which helps with drainage. They also feed on dead leaves, grass, and manure, and as they poop, they make the soil more nutrient-rich. Leeches are parasites that live on water or land. They suck blood from animals such as fish, frogs, lizards, birds, or even humans. A leech bite doesn't cause much pain and may go unnoticed. They also release chemicals that may stop your blood from clotting. Leeches can be found all over the world. While a few leeches can be found in oceans or moist soil on land, most leeches prefer to live in shallow bodies of fresh water. They can range in size from less than an inch to nearly 10 inches in length. Most leech bites are not harmful, but they can cause an allergic reaction or the bite could become infected. In the past, doctors have used leeches to treat human ailments as far back as the days of ancient India and Greece. Back then, doctors thought leeches could remove bad blood from a sick patient. Bloodletting was very common. Today, leeches are still used in some surgeries, but not to remove bad blood. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up or if you'd like to see more science videos, hit that subscribe button.